Hello, everyone, and welcome to Erotic Book Club, the book club where we read erotic books. I am your host, Jess Ross. With me, as always, is my co host, Reka. Reka! <laughs> Do the Reka dance. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for being here, whether you are watching uh, on CH2, whether you are listening wherever you get your podcasts, or whether you're on our favorite way uh, to be joining us, you're subscribed to Dropout, mm-hmm. Dropout, where you get to see uh, not only this, but all the other podcasts, Tales from the Closet, a uh, new series going up all the time, Kingpin Katie just dropped, we're so excited about that, so not only do you get to be in our book club, but you get to enjoy all the other stuff that's on there and one of our favorite parts about dropout is the discord Uh, we have a discord where you can chat directly with the cast about uh, any show you want and in particular for this one uh, you can be a part of the erotic book club so i grabbed some uh quick little quotes from it there was a very long conversation about sexy skeletons and bones Mm -hmm. someone went on hero forge and made a very thick sexy skeleton Uh, it was yeah very pleasurable (laughs) Uh, queer phone wished everyone a happy daddy's day uh, which you'll probably hear this a little after father's day but I think we can always really every day is daddy's day yeah Yeah, Mm -hmm. that's the thing about daddy's yeah daddy yes and there's a lot of great (laughs) uh, erotic suggestions in there we can't always get to everything on the podcast but if uh, you like reading this shit every single night you can go on there pick something out and enjoy yourself uh so that's what's going on in our discord but now it's time to talk about the book that we came here to talk about the second half of alfie chapter six to ten you demanded it we read it yes by (laughs) in case uh of course uh you know we needed to bring our experts back so with us again is our ear expert ally thank you so much for having me thank you so much now how did the the first half and second half ear play uh you know any thoughts on that i i mean i mean we'll get into it but i think they really upped their game in the second half i think so too this time we had a little more biting of the ear. Yes. Your and just more ears in general. Mm-hmm. To be bitten. Agree. Representation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Representation <laughs> matters. <laughs> Remember when uh, yep. Francis McDormand? When Francis McDormand started a speech at an award ceremony saying representation, representation matters and then thanked her agents <laughs> because that's what she meant by representation. That yeah, is that a real it. thing that happened important. one like year ago. Tomatoes. Lettuce. Yeah. A diversified diet. Is diet. Important. Eat a little less meat. You yeah. know, diversity matters. Yeah. Uh, we also have our returning expert, yes. Teo, here. Oh, He's a returning yeah. halfling expert. Yes. Teo, would you say... You were you were kind of railed on I in was. the comments mm, about yes. your halfling expertise. Hot, have I you was. have you updated your knowledge? You yes. promised us that you studied more. We said we can't bring you I, back with false information. We'll be humiliated. No, absolutely. I, I studied. <laughs> I went back and looked at my thesis again, and I was wrong last time. Halflings are not half human and half elf. Okay, yeah. I looked it up. I, I have more information now. Halflings are half humans and half dogs. Thank oh, you for the correction. Yeah. Now okay. I get it. it makes half sense. Small tiny dogs like your chihuahua mm-hmm. okay. like your that explains the ears yes explains mm. the yes that the makes ears. perfect sense thank you for the correction okay and we so will, everyone can calm down now <laughs> Teo has corrected it his answer yes, is I'm now s- more correct yes thank Wonderful. you Teo. Yeah, yes thank you so much i've i've looked through and combed the internet for sources cool yeah. thank you Let's dive right on in. Let's dive into the the waters of chapter six that start out with Alfie in a lake Ooh. in a white t-shirt and this cute little floral wreath. And she's looking as sultry as ever. Yeah, More really so is. than when I remembered. It's been a couple weeks Better and then I was like, eight. wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I missed her. Uh, we are at the, oh, so to catch you up from last time, or if you didn't uh, check out the first Alfie episode, Alfie is about a halfling woman, a teenage girl, and her mother and it's a lot about uh, sexual repression and discovering and trying new things out mm-hmm. and we're met at this uh, chapter there was a big festival about to happen for all the women to wear wreaths and go into a lake yes. yeah I saw there was one panel where it was kind of like in the, in the background where uh, a, a halfling woman put a, like a candle on a wreath in the 
into the river and then it sunk. <laughs> yeah, and that's weirdly that's a Hindu thing. You have oh, really? like leaves with little like wicks uh, with a little flame that you release into the Ganges, the oh. Ganga River, and it's very beautiful. Uh, you shouldn't put a candle. That'll, I was gonna that'll say definitely yeah. Sank. What? Right. Yeah. It's it sank and then and then she went. Oh, I guess I'll never get married. Oh <laughs> my that's god. The test. That's the test. If this candle sinks, if this dense candle sinks, sinks. it's always <laughs> going to sink. <laughs> Um, this is like a freaking birthday gift. Yes. <laughs> uh, so they are, uh, there's lots of people gathered around the bonfire celebrating. Uh, Vera is looking for Alfie. Vera is Alfie's mother, but she can't quite find her. She wants to talk to her because they got into another fight. They're kind of always fighting. <laughs> uh, but Alfie goes off into the woods with her friend, Melly, And she's saying she's not really feeling the festival. She just doesn't feel like she fits in and belongs mm-hmm. here. She's thinking about leaving. And her friend's like, will you just chill the fuck out? Let's go to like Skinny Dip Lake in the middle of the woods yeah. and so they go to skinny dip lake and you can only imagine what happens next with these friends yes alfie's about to go alfie takes off her pants and then melly goes <laughs> alfie you know to skinny dip you have to take off your shirt right <laughs> which i know that's part of the sexy plot but like don't we all have that friend that's just like won't let you be uncomfortable <laughs> in your body and you're like just give me ah! space to be uncomfortable. <laughs> you think Alfie was like, I don't want, I need my shirt on yes. while swimming. Yeah. I need my tight white t-shirt I on. <laughs> I know it's part of the sexiness, but I was just like, oh, I had that high school friend. Shut up, like, Melly. Yeah, shut your the fuck fucking up. six I've pack. Definitely had the like, like the middle school yeah. boy experience where you're like, I'm just gonna leave my shirt on in the pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. yeah exactly. I had the middle girl girl experience of it. Yeah, I wore gym yeah. shorts in pools and shorts. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Which it. always doesn't it suck when you hop in in full clothes and you're like, all right, I'm safe. But then they just suction to your body even yes. more. You might as well be wearing yes. like spandex. Yeah, or just it's getting true. out is the worst. It's yes. like everything is it's stuck he- it's to super you heavy and because it's not yes. me. Yeah, like, I was just like, I don't want anyone focusing on my boobs. Yeah. And I like bikini is so like, oh, you yeah. can see a third of each side, yeah. you know. <laughs> so I was like, I'll wear a shirt. But yeah, then you then get out and it's like, <laughs> and you're like, good god, yeah. this is a way worse. And now it's see through. Yeah. Ah. yeah, it fucking <laughs> sucks. Anyway, so so they're they both fuck. like drunk yeah. at this point, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Like one beer each. Which mm. A courage it? beer. Yeah. That's so all they need. Halflings, how much would you know, need? Yeah. How much uh, beer? Yes, halflings. Oh, you know, the, it, like a shot is like eight beers. Oh, oh wow! wow. That's that's actually, like, These same, bitches no, are wild because and of the with, Chihuahua. Because of the Chihuahua, Chihuahuas <laughs> get drunk really fast, just like halflings. And the, the Taco Bell Chihuahua is all over the map. Mm-hmm. Was, so, okay, so this pool, this lake was hot too, or like warm, right? So I imagine it's almost like a hot tub. Oh, effect, it was. Which it you're not supposed. It was warm, like a warm uh, spring. I well when. She gets in. She goes, it's warm. It's perfect. And then she goes, why are you wearing your shirt? She goes, uh, it's cold. And she goes, is it cold or is it warm, Alfie? Oh, oh. I liked that. That was a fun part. It's very playful. But I was like, oh, is this going to be like a hot tub effect? Like, you're so, like, you're going to pass out. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> was it warm? Was it a warm I think river? it was just warm, like normal okay, warm. Yeah. yeah. I loved in this scene, too. So to kind of show the attraction, we just kept getting little shots of, like, Melly's vagina different angles. Like, yeah. she's, like, bent over but it's very clearly yeah. in the middle. Like, yeah. we are Alfie's eyes zooming in on her, vagina. On her friend's mm-hmm. vagina and how, like, obsessed she is over it, which I really like that. Yeah. And then at one point, Melly calls her out. Like, are you looking at it? And there's a super cool panel where she calls her out for it, but is also, like, standing over yeah. her, like, with it. Like, oh, this? Yeah. I was like, damn. And she goes, uh-huh. I know that look. That's the I want to fuck look. <laughs> <laughs> which I was like, cool. And, uh, <laughs> cool. Cool. Uh, 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 Alfie gets like super embarrassed because she does but Melly yeah. keeps kind of like egging her on and teasing her in a way that's like half making fun of her but obviously like also interested in it because mm-hmm. also backstory Alfie had that fantasy of, of having sex with Melly yeah. she watched her section. friend having yeah. sex uh, at like a bonfire yeah. thing and then her Alfie and her boyfriend went off but the whole time she was thinking about the Melly. friend Melly yeah. Um, so then she's like, all right, we'll come over here and kiss me. And they do. And then Alfie's like kind of freaking out and she's super into it. So then she grabs her and like does it again. And then we get into a super hot sex scene. I thought scene. this was so hot. I yeah, love this duh. one. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
It was so, I literally wrote down, nothing better than a woman going down on a woman and she's all sprawled out. <laughs> Every one of those pictures, I was like, this That's is what the it most says beautiful thing. the back thing. of the book, yeah. Jessica Rossi. <laughs> nothing <laughs> better. All sprawled out. All sprawled out. Yeah. Sprawled I mean, out. Like, yeah. a like, like a platypus. Like a big city. Like a renaissance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about like a renaissance, like Rubenesque thing. Yeah. Like everyone just yeah. lounging No, you're not talking about grape. big city. <laughs> we're talking about urban she's talking about Brooklyn <laughs> uh, and Alfie is just loving it and she's having a great time this was just a great tender wonderful sex scene I thought it was yeah, beautiful too right. and I, uh, I liked that uh, this felt like one of those less predatory like first time things mm-hmm. where oh, yeah. she wasn't being like let me teach you and it felt like gross it was just like literally like yeah, I'm interested. Go down on me. Uh, yeah, I will also. Yeah. Like, I will. Yeah, and then you. I will reciprocate. Yeah, yeah like, okay. It's your turn now. Really uh, nice. They were just like exploring, and yeah, yeah there was no like uh, shame attached or anything. It was just until, awesome. Yeah, until the end of it. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. Because so then they oh, yes. are. Uh, going at it having yeah. a great time but then Vera um, is still looking for Alfie and of course interrupts and finds them yeah. lashes out at Melly uh, and basically tries to blame her and then can kind of see in Alfie's eyes like oh it's not just Melly's fault like you wanted this too yes right. and as the backstory for Vera she's been having like a you know kind of learning moment with uh, homosexuality with kinks with like BDSM and like just basically anything that isn't straight sex. Yeah. <laughs> her husband is uh, gay and yeah. cheats on her yeah. and so I think she's almost in a way lashing out yes. at Alfie and also afraid at, for her and like so many emotions kind of all at And once. lashing out at Melly because she's like you're married Melly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, married uh, people don't cheat. Which is like Melly Derek. Yeah. 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 Uh, so Alfie <laughs> runs away. And I thought this was a really cool thing, too. When she runs away, kind of her mother's words are like blocked out yes. around her, like in the she block chain that it's her oh, mind. Yes. Uh, yeah. So it's like all playing in her head still. And I Vera, love that device. I love like how that a like lot the too. thoughts Square. were squared. I'm like, oh, that helps me. When someone's saying something and then the thought bubble is the opposite, I'm like, yeah. oh, that's exactly how sometimes it's really it is. really yeah. well done in the whole book. Yeah. 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 Um, and the book does a great job, too. It's like every time Vera gets in one of these big fights, it's almost like she just instinctually lashes out, and then she's instantly like, why did I do that? Yeah. Why did I say yeah. that? Why? She has a humanness to her, even though you're like, mad at her it's like mm. anger is like her coping mechanism for everything just to jump to like well you did something wrong um, uh, and then they show a flashback of Vera yeah. and like her being called a whore and a beggar and wanting to run away by her mother so it's like the cycle of it happening so just these characters are so great mm. and really well written yeah uh, so she goes home. Uh, she finds a note from Alfie that she's ru- running away. And Alfie says she's going to her grandfather's, uh, which we find out is a lie. She's actually going to join the caravan. Um, and then Vera and Derek have a moment. Uh, Vera confesses that she slept with Alduin, uh, who was the elf from the first book. Yes. Um, and the, instead of being upset, uh, Derek's kind of like, yeah, that's great. I'm yes. super happy and for you. And upset that he's not upset. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I feel like this moment where you're just like, yeah, now you're going to be mad, aren't you? And being yeah. like, no. That feels very real. <laughs> it feels very oh, real. She yeah. just wants anything from him. Like, even yeah. anger shows that you care. Just to go like, oh, cool, yeah, good for you. It's kind of like, why don't you care Why about- are we married? Yeah. yeah. Right. It's uh, like her like warped mind. Yeah. Though. yeah. Like she, he's like he's totally showing that he cares, saying like, yeah, I'm glad that you're getting what you need. Yeah. But she's just like, what? Well, yeah, because it's almost like he gets to be happy because because he's more uh, sure of himself and like what he likes, and she is still figuring that out. Mm. So like her using this as like a like a trump card of like, well, I'm also like I'm with this elf uh, who who gets me into BDSM, and he's like, great, and she's like, no. No, because she still doesn't yeah, know yeah, totally. if she likes it or not. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
That feels feels real. <laughs> Derek know about uh, Melly and Alfie being together, and he's more just concerned because he knows what this life has been yes. like. If she has to be secretive about it, how difficult it is to keep that secret. Like he's more just worried for her right. and upset how Vera handled it because she also confesses to like yelling uh-huh. at, to Alfie. Mm-hmm. That part made me go. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. You told me there was a part yes. that made you kind of tear that, up. That, that was, was it. it. That was Aww. it. Oh like that parental care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was mm-hmm. hard cuz everyone you see how flawed they all are and they are trying to do their best and they don't always get it right. Yeah. Uh, so Alfie's like, don't follow me. And the dad's kind of in her note. And he's like, I'll respect her wishes. Uh, but the mom doesn't. Mm. Oh, wait. Before that, she meets up with Alduin one last time. Oh, yes. 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 And so uh, she goes there. She talks to his bodyguard outside of the place. And then between there's kind of like a flashback with her in the bodyguard scene and the actual scene that's happening in the tent uh, because the bodyguard eventually ends up like joining them in the bedroom. Yes. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. She's like trying to help fulfill Outoween's like kinks and fantasies yeah. by bringing in the bodyguard. Because mm-hmm. this is his first time with a man. Yes. Mm-hmm. So before... The bodyguard? Yes. Yeah. Vera would like put on a strap on. Yeah. Uh, but this is his first time with a man. And then he seems to enjoy her being there as well, watching it. Mm-hmm. Uh, which I thought was Yeah, great. what did he say? He's like, I have such a long life. He was just like, I'll live for yes. so long. Like, maybe next century I'll try having yeah, sex with yeah. a man or something. <laughs> well, I'll get I around did. to it. Yeah. Perspective. <laughs> when I go to college, when I'm yeah. 300, yeah. I'll try. <laughs> I'll I mean, experiment. Guess, yeah, that's like the equivalent <laughs> of like, yeah, I guess in college I'll start to yeah. explore. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I thought this was a pretty hot sex scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like the other one better, but I thought this was the other yeah. between oh, Melly and Melly and, and Vera. Yeah, oh, okay. that one was just like pure it like two very, friends. It was so like cool. Yeah. Uh, and I like the romance aspect of that. Uh even though this is also special in its own way. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder what your test results will say. Oh! <laughs> uh, <laughs> you took so, a kink test. Yes, yeah. we did take a kink <laughs> test, a BDSM <laughs> test, which we will share the results. The results are we'll in. The results, the results are in. in. Uh, the Electoral College voted. Yes. I am yes. 95% East Asian. Ah! <laughs> wow, 95. Whoa, oh my that's God. the five. Yeah. Um, I think the moment, the moment in this scene I liked the most was when it was like someone was uh, getting sucked off and then like from behind somebody's getting that. I like yeah. that. Like a kneading out and then a, that person's getting something. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and then yes. these two can see each other. And yeah. it just is There was nice. a lot of that in this ladder. There pop. was. Yes. A nice little group of friends. Uh, so the big plot point that happens in this one is Alduin's like, Vera, you can come with me. I want you to come with me when the mm-hmm. caravan leaves tonight. You can leave all this behind. And Vera's in a position where she's like, well, my husband, mm-hmm. you know, we don't get along. My daughter's, you know, who knows where. And he wants to hire her to be his, like, personal, like, leather maker. Yes. To, like, just make toys. Yeah. Sex toys, like, on retainer, which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Damn. So you just like think of one like, oh, well, it'd be fun if it was like like a strap on like this and, yeah. then, and then you have someone just make it. Yeah. <laughs> like an in-home chef. Yeah. It's like there a personal chef. A, it's actually chef. not unlike a personal chef. Uh, very similar. <laughs> a personal <laughs> chef but for like toys. <laughs> it's weird that she always has to like use them with him though. I feel like that yes. is very like, you'll travel with me and I'm like, I don't know. I think she's like finding herself with him but yeah. she should take that to someone else. Yeah. yeah. Stop yeah. number it's one. It's too much of a combination yes. of a business transaction yeah, yeah. for what she seems to want. Yeah. yeah, with her baggage of being called a whore. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Mm, she doesn't need to actually yeah, like, yeah, yeah, continue. Yeah. I wrote that down too, just how many times people question or refer to themselves as pervert and like perversions yes. and how much it's like... It's like, well, no one else, it's kind of like a group, like the caravan is almost like a group of like social outcasts in a way, or people who aren't feeling like they're fitting into their society, so they all kind of go there. Yes. And then, yeah, their desires are always meant to feel like freakish or, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And even Vera, she feels like it's freakish and needs to kind of justify it a little bit with a financial tra- transaction of some sort mm-hmm. like she's always like I want to work with my I want to be a good worker or whatever mm-hmm. so even when mm-hmm. she's exploring her sexuality she has to like be a good worker and provide the tools kind of yeah totally yeah. she's constantly going like perversion like deviant yeah. yes. is always like if it was yes. like a word yeah. yes. like that's like the biggest one yes. yeah, yeah deviant yes yeah 
Uh, we have, uh, so then Vera realizes that Alfie is not at her grandfather. She doesn't accept the, the uh, deal. Uh, so she founds out that Alfie's not there, and she's like, I have to go find my daughter. I, she's not like me. She won't be able to survive out there on her own kind of thing. Right. And the dad's like, I mean, just I guess she's on her own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Which I'm totally. like, all right. He, I get that he's being supportive, but I'm like, you could care like a slight Carol. bit yeah, more exactly. than you don't yeah. know where she is. Oh, I guess she's gone. Hey, Vera, be chill. Just yeah. support her. <laughs> so like strange. me, who's never around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so now we are in chapter eight. Uh, it is one month later, and we see Alfie and Marco, who was the human that she met. Yes. Uh, and I think lost her virginity too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now they're boning in some tavern. Uh, they're having a blast. They're boning in bed. Yeah. In the bed. In the bed. They keep talking, talking about, about the bed. bed. Yes. They're like, wow, a bed. Which I guess is true if you've only had sex like on the ground yeah. forever. Uh, yeah. 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 It's like, whoa. whoa this is great. It's like in a Claritin thinking. commercial when they peel off the filter. You're like, oh. Uh, <laughs> I feel like a lot of people's like first experiences were like in cars yes. and like sneakily wherever. But I just I was like much older. I wasn't like Mine sixteen. Was you know, I was like yeah, yeah I was in a fucking oh, bed with my girlfriend. I yeah. can't imagine like growing up in like a city and like doing all that like like on the tr- like you have no sex privacy. in a public pool at pool. night yeah. that you like snuck into. Yeah, right. I'm like oh. that's how oh. yeah. uh, me. Yeah, you like not in a public it. pool. No, I did it on the train once coming back from. <laughs> Whoa. New York to Pennsylvania. No, I mean I've had yeah. public yeah, sex, yeah. honey. But that wasn't the, that wasn't the virginity loss. No, I just had a um in my dorm room. Yeah. Oh yeah. On an extra long cot. Um, twin, I, a cot? A what cot? are you king? <laughs> what would you call those? Ba- I wouldn't call those long beds. Twin beds. Those and mattresses are, twin are like this thick. I dated a guy right. once. He was like, uh, he was one. Of, uh, what? A, dated uh one of those guys that likes to be like yeah i did this so what he talked about having sex in an elevator once and i was like uh in a a parking garage elevator and i was like you you how many floors was it because like i guess it just seems like (laughs) yeah there's only like three floors like how long and he came in yeah i know exactly i prematurely ejaculated (laughs) in a parking garage elevator do you want to go out sometime (laughs) (laughs) it was so weird it was his opener no no. (laughs) i think jerking off is nice for the elevator or you know like fingering penetration elevator full penetration for an escalator Skewering no, for, nothing on the escalator. You know when you're in the Guggenheim and it's like a big long curly <laughs> oh hallway. Gosh. Yeah, now that's, that's for, for anal. That's for <laughs> anal. Escalators are too dangerous. People get stuck in the little uh, like teeth of it. Yeah, if you yeah. got long pants on, don't oh. have sex on an escalator. Or with that's, long pants. Or big long shoelaces. Or with big long mm. pants. Mm-hmm. It's a clown. <laughs> uh, so Alfie and Marco are doing it. Alfie looks out the window, and at first she's a little nervous because she's like, oh, wait, I wasn't even thinking maybe people are looking. And then she sees Look someone she as sees. looking. Ooh. And it's Miss Lydia it's from the caravan. Yes. Of the whole book, Lydia. Mm-hmm. Lydia, our big, strong, tough Lydia. Yes. Uh, and she's loving what she's seeing. She rips her top open and shows her titties. Mm-hmm. And guess what? What color were her nipples? I didn't even pay attention. They were light. Shame on they me. were light. They, they were, were like. They were. Clear. They were like the color of her skin. Whoa. Mm-hmm. I was like. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. We talked about this episode one. I you were know, like, I they did. better be dark. I was like, they better be dark. And they're not. And they're not. And this is the first section that has been in color. Yes. Everything and we read unfortunately, that was black spoiler and white. alert. I know we only read a chapter ten. There is another person of color. It seems like the people with the tails. Uh, yeah, also I light. assumed they also were light nipples when they hooked light up. They're supposed to be kind of Native American. Interesting. Yes. Well, but I did like that they had <laughs> tiny boobies. Mm-hmm. Oh, the the a new oh, body yes. style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. loved them. Style. I was super. Everyone's into still it. super thin and ripped. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. yes, it lean. is crazy that uh, Alfie's boobs are truly as long as her legs. Those Absolutely. like those well, cells yes. where you only see her like small legs. Yes. I'm like. 
this is so funny. Well, they're like footballs. Yes. They are. Yes. Is that typical in halfling culture? Halfling cultures, uh, yes. Uh, w- uh, women are almost 60% boobs. <laughs> I understand, yeah. I think so. And the other part, dog. <laughs> the the dog. other part, the dog, dog from Taco Bell. <laughs> 40% dog and 60% boobs. <laughs> Woo. Whoa, whoa, we Think whoa. about your back. <laughs> um, so Alfie is... Uh, Starts to write a journal. Oh, wait, she's not on the caravan yet. So she's uh, kind of Marco is a bit too like clingy with her, and she's just feeling like she wants to like yes. do her own thing right. most of the time. And he's like following her around. And now Lydia, after oh, that, well, incident, I mean, is following she comes like super hard when she sees Lydia oh, outside. Yeah, yeah. That's the part because she's like having sex with him, and it's like kind of not working. She's trying to be dominant. Yeah. He's saying some dumb shit. Like, yeah, she in her mind was literally like, you think it's funny that I'm like smart and have power yes. right now like, like she's so over me. it yeah. and then they're still having sex and she looks out the window and sees Lydia and is like no oh! you know it's like <laughs> oh and he's like and that oh, happens yeah. earlier right she's having yeah. sex yes. with him and yes. she thinks of Melly yes. and comes super here's hard, the know. thing too that I appreciated the sex noises felt very real like I, I knew exactly Uh-oh. like even if you were to t- here, here, here's what I'll venture to say. Hmm. I'm going to make a bold raft style claim. <laughs> if you took the images away and we're like, this is a sex scene, I think it could tell which are the parts of like, this person's coming. Like the A and H noise. I'm like, yeah. Ah, she's receiving oral. Okay. Oh, like, like, yeah. The, no, no way. Way. Oh, it makes oh. sense. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like uh, this is like if we did like Garfield minus Garfield. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sex, erotic, minus sex. Yeah, sex minus sex. Erotica minus sex. I was like browsing, so it's hard for me because I would look and be like, wait, they already came. Where was that panel? Yeah. And would go back, and it was just like, Hang! yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. which I thought was like I, correct. I but I did. I do think you're right because the panel they would have like a harung or an arc but then they would have a ha ha and it was like that's so sweet that's, yeah. that's, that's so that's cute to so yeah. like come and be like ha ha like that was fun or I don't know yeah. <laughs> that was fun yeah he <laughs> <laughs> I love I always do that after I come I go he 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 I love how sweaty and like <laughs> messed never up catch they me. are. Yeah. <laughs> no, you were saying she's sex dizzy. Or fuck yeah. dizzy is what you call it. She got fucked fuck dizzy. dizzy. Fuck dizzy. Yeah. yeah. I fucked her dizzy. Wow. Is yeah. what I said. That's something <laughs> Jess is always saying around the office. Yeah. Uh, sex well, like, how was your weekend? Me and Kate hung out last night. And I, I fucked, fucked her dizzy. dizzy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Which she... could is interesting because it could be an adjective or it could be a noun. Like, I fucked her dizzy. Or I fucked her dizzy. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, cool. That's what, I, I, that's what I call. I call it a doozy. I call it a fucking dizzy. <laughs> oh my god! Because it makes my head spin. Because it's so confusing. Oh yeah, weren't you saying there were like birds swarming yeah, around her head? Uh, uh, oh, property yes. protected cartoon bird. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking of a really specific yellow canary. Oh, uh, one that's like in it deep with a cat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought I got pussy. A real will they will <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, so they come down from the uh, tavern. The caravan's about to leave again. It's going for this place called Red Ford where these uh, people who live called the Voch Kari? Does that Vokar? Vokar? I am just I an halfling know. expert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I only I know about dogs. Expert. I know about dogs. And, <laughs> um, and we meet one very important Vokar. Uh, Ozgi? Ozgi? Ozgi is what I was calling her. Okay, let's go with Ozgi. Uh, so Ozgi is this tall, beautiful drink of water. Mm-hmm. I was instantly into her. She's yeah. so hot. Yeah, she's hot. Yes. Mm-hmm. She's gorgeous. She's like a, what are they kind of like, like elves? I think so. Tall elves with, like, with tails? tails? And she's a septum piercing? Is it, or nipple piercing? Oh, she oh, had lip, a lip lip, lip piercing. Yeah. Yes. I, Comes I into them. play later. I got it. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, you yes. got to finish this book. Oh. 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 I might read more on my own, honestly. It's yeah. Yeah. Ellie read yeah. ahead. Yeah. Only two more chapters. Yeah. Well, I was going to wait until there were like three more. I don't know how long oh, that yes. would take. And then I was like, oh, oh we could do it again. It's, it's, would still, take a going. While. it's still going. It's like for they add yeah. uh, more and more pages. That makes a lot yeah. of sense. I really appreciated the notes from the author in between. That oh was like God. mental health break. Yes. You know, like yes. fucking, I've been at this for too long. Yeah. It was just like, oh, man. <laughs> Uh, I love this author. Yeah. In case we love you, it's not but Smitty. It's that's a website. That's just a website. The website. We don't know what the relationship is. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Is, is it like a circle? Is Maybe it, that's in case I his actually, real name. I but googled Smitty. who is but Smitty a lot during this <laughs> and was like, I gotta fine. find them. No, I didn't find shit. So now that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Who is? 
But who um, is Crunchyroll? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Alfie sees uh, Ozgi, and she's just like instantly into her. She's like, hubba hubba, which anyone would be. I mean, truly, go to chapter, what was this, chapter eight, and just check her out. Mm. She's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Um so what time is it? Oh, so the caravan gets going and Vera shows up to town. She just missed Alfie. Oh, yes. She's in the tavern at the bar. She's like, I gotta find my daughter. I gotta find my daughter. And someone who's there is like, oh, uh, that dude's a guy. I'd ask him and he'll like take you. Mm-hmm. And so we see this like very uh, burly drunk man with a big beard. Yes. Uh, and you're like, damn, these two are gonna do it for sure. <laughs> for sure. And then this guy reminded me of like the the character from like Pirates of the Caribbean, the like the Jack portly Jack- character. Sparrow? Not Jack Sparrow, oh. the portly guy who Davy was, Jones? <laughs> was like Jack the guy Sparrow's. with the squid face? He's the guy with the squid face, yeah. He's like the guy who's like uh, the drunk, but then Jack Sparrow finds him and he's like, you got to help me with like the ship and stuff. And he's like uh, super I'm drunk. Not, I don't honestly guys, remember. The monkey? The monkey, yes, the monkey. Okay. I know what you're saying, though. Yes. Orlando Bloom, the actor, actor yes. not the character. Yeah, the character. <laughs> uh, and she gets this guy. They have a, a witty back and forth, but in the end, she gets him to take her uh, as his guide, as her guide. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a funny moment where he's giving her the goat uh, that she's going to be riding, and she names the goat Alduin. So oh, she's like yes. even his little right master right, right now. Also, the, when he wakes up in the morning, because he's like super drunk when they first meet, and he's like, I, oh, oh, yeah, I guess so. And then in the morning, he's like, he shaves, and he's almost a completely different looking he, character. I didn't know absolutely it was the same guy. a different person. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. She's just like, who are you? And he's like, oh, I'm that mess drunk. drunk fr- yes. <laughs> I love a good, like, sober makeover, like, a yes. good, like, bad first impression. Yeah. I love that shit. Oh, yeah. Ooh. They hate each other, and yes. then, ooh. They have you were wrong about me. I went back and I had to look at him again. I'd be like, I guess I can kind of see I the facial structures. I had to do structures. that a few times yeah. people because a lot of people look a little similar. Ooh, yes. uh, oh, in the yeah. Book. I once pulled up to a date and the girl got off of a really cool motorcycle and I got out of an Uber pool. <laughs> and it was very obvious that it was Sitting an Uber pool middle. because it was like, packed. Yeah, and people had, like, had to get up to let me out. Um, oh, one moment. And, uh, and I was just like, will I live this down? And I did. <laughs> <laughs> so I like a bad first impression yeah. to come back from. Hell yeah, because like, I can only go up. Yeah, yeah it's only, only up, from, up here. from here. And now let me order a daiquiri. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then we jump back to Alfie on the caravan. And I like this part, too. She was writing in a journal as opposed mm-hmm. to like everything being conversational that we find out info. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and she's saying that Lydia keeps hitting on her after the incident. And Alfie's like, I think she's hot, but not totally into it she's like you're kind of coming on a little too strong right. mm-hmm. uh, but somehow in one of those like magical threesome ways they find their way into a uh, into a fancy tent one night all together mm-hmm. um, and everyone can kind of feel like something's about to go down but yeah. no one's like oh, yeah. starting to initiate yeah. it and Marco and Lily have like this like long relationship as like friends yeah like kind of yes. frenemies that frenemies. kind of rag on each other a lot and mm-hmm. Lydia's thing is just like I'm into women I've always yeah. been into women, never into men. There's a flashback later on that shows her like, oh, well, maybe you just haven't re- met the right man yet. And she's like, no, I absolutely know who I am. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so she was like, maybe you haven't met the right woman yet. Yeah, and the woman yeah. was like scandalized. <laughs> I love that part. I love that They response. had that backstory where they like were supposed to protect someone's like mm-hmm. uh, store while the man was gone. Yes. And then they, yeah. Uh, they just kept, they and they double just team this they woman who's so into it. Wife. Yeah. <laughs> and while they were having sex, and the store got robbed. robbed? <laughs> and so they're like, okay, well, I guess we have to steal what's left to get payment for this. Oh my and God. And then they're like, we shouldn't have done we that. We shouldn't have. Yeah. Mark, yeah. I didn't mean to. And Lydia was like, hell yeah, we did it. Uh, so these guys, yeah, they kind of bring up that past moment, which is even planting the seed more yes. that they're about to do that. And then Lydia kind of has her way with uh, Alfie at first. But she's like coaxing or like being mean yeah. to uh, Marco the whole time about it which was a little odd this was my least yes. favorite sex scene I agree because I won I didn't like that it seemed that like Marco was e- I either Marco be in it or like I don't really care about him watching yeah so much. I don't know I, I guess for for such a scene that's like with this woman who's like very like I'm into women and not into men mm-hmm. it felt weird to have this be the scene that's like sure. a man's watching or whatever yeah, yeah. Uh, and then also I didn't like Whatever it felt 
a little predatory at times because it did feel like she was bullying Alfie at some certain moments. Yeah, kind of bullying everybody. Yeah, yeah. which I didn't like, or because I, I was like, don't make like the one openly comfortable lesbian character yes. predatory. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Very aggressive. And only woman of color. Yes. And the only woman that doesn't shave her armpit. Like, every, yeah. every, everything. I went back and forth with it because then later it's discovered that she, like, has feelings for Marco and she's never had feelings for a man before yeah. and she kind of accepts like well I am into it. She, I guess she feels like if I feel that way then maybe everybody else was right about all the other stuff and she like yeah. feels like she's losing her identity a bit I don't know I went back and forth like maybe she's yeah. having a hard time there were with a things. couple back to backs that bothered me so it was one Marco was like the total focus of her yes. in the initial yeah, hookup yeah. and even he said why Are do you keep at me? yeah referencing everything to me, which yeah, is pay so attention like, to Alfie. in a movie when like someone kisses someone's girlfriend and like looks at them, yeah, it's like she's yeah. just like a prop. Yes. But then Marco also said, and I wrote this one down, it was insane. She's a beast with no notion of restraint or civility. Yes. Oh, yeah. About yeah. Lydia. I'm yes. like, what? Yeah. Like Calling you're her blue beast? eyed. Yeah. yeah. Get the really fuck gross. out of here. Yeah. And civility. Yeah. Uh-uh, coded. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, the the down point of all of, yes. of everything that we read, I think he that also was said it. that doesn't count when she was like fingering her. Yes, yeah, which was so like male, Ew. uh, you know, like fragility. penetrative forward. Yeah, yeah it's like, just like if it's not a dick, it doesn't count. Uh, all yeah. right, and everyone. Sex, listen, Lydia is hot as hell. That sex yeah. could have been yes. so good. It does seem yes. like a, yeah, a, a waste. waste of hell. Yeah, yeah. awesome. What did you is. think of Lydia's like straight haired vagina? Was that shocking oh. to anyone? And that was weird. Everyone yeah, did. No, I'm I just didn't like, even notice. I she think didn't this have person to. is like very white, right? Yes. In yes. case, yeah. I think they're just like, I'm sure it's this. Yeah. You know, and it's like, I don't know. Listen. Straight pubes, mm-hmm. a discussion, colon, a discussion. <laughs> <laughs> How common is Rick it? Is thesis. Who has it? Who wants it? Who needs it? <laughs> I feel like it is not common I in don't my think so field either. research. Yeah. yeah, field research. Okay, so we have some experts we here. Some experts. Yeah, I guess that should have been my expertise, right? <laughs> pubes <laughs> in the wild. <laughs> pubes in the wild. I just think like this texture for pubes, not common. Mm-mm. There's few pubes that I've seen that so are straight. Totally, I, mean, yeah. I think uh, the wiry, including my sure. own. I yeah. have curly pubes. Yeah. I'll go on the record and say I have straight pubes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Taya. So uh, this is Thank normal you, to me, all normal to me. Yes. <laughs> the stenographer and, just wrote that down. And you yeah. know what? As a true, like, wow moment for me, Allie, you've just presented this. Like, as someone with curly, everything, mm-hmm. I, I'm i just so used to seeing straight that I didn't even, it didn't wow. even occur to me. This could have been curly. Wow. This yeah. could have been a beautiful moment for curly haired women everywhere. Every, and curly everywhere Pute. women. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She, she was very trimmed too. Straight. My my arm hairs, okay, that's straight. But everything else, curly honey, oh. curly honey, and look at this cell again because it's straight, straight and short. Who? Why is she trimming her pew? She's trimming her I pew, thought that too. But yeah. not shaving her has arm. The freedom to do whatever the fuck they want. Maybe she doesn't like a full bush, but she doesn't mind armpit. It doesn't matter. But I'm just saying, <laughs> especially on a caravan when you have the time. What do you? Do you and where does when the you have the privacy? Go? I go two days scissors? and it's a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Or two swords. Well, on a caravan. Two swords. <laughs> if she's trimming her pubes with a sword, that is a missing panel. <laughs> yeah. We need that panel. The lost panel. In case he's yeah. adding a lot of like world building, yes. so they should add this in there yeah, too. Yeah, I think so too. What's happening? Yes, you know like when people take a sword and they cut off the top of a champagne bottle? <laughs> mm-hmm. you, know, you know when people do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so that happens. The caravan keeps moving. We finally get to the red Ford. Ooh, wait. The, oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh. My favorite part of Lydia's first straight, you know, uh, opposite gender experience yeah. was that she slaps him and yells, thanks, bitch. Yeah. Okay. I like that, too. Wait, I did write that, that down. It slightly felt like, you know, sometimes when you're watching an anime and something might just not have translated in the original or whatever, yes. and they do something like, why the fuck did that just happen? Yes. That was one of those. Yep. Like, 
Did I? Well, they were the wrestling <laughs> before oh, yes. that too. Like who's going to be on yes, top? Yes. It was such like who has the power I here? I feel like wrestling is queer foreplay. Yeah. No matter what. It's yeah. always like, oh my gosh, should we wrestle? <laughs> and it's like, yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, and she hates the taste of uh, cum. cis male cum. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought that was really interesting. And but it was kind of like, I mean, I'm down for her being a bi character. But then I'm like, then where is like maybe a more gay character? Like yeah. when, when we have such limited uh, visibility. Yes, with such limited visibility and with so many people that are questioning the morality of queerness, mm-hmm. it feels a little strange uh, to have the one character that is like, I have always known who I am. Like I get the value of adding complexity and nuance yeah. to even a character who's assured of herself to be like, maybe I'm not so sure. It seems a little strange to make that in her sexuality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe it's it's just Derek, the father. Yeah, is the only like open. Oh, true. But like, even then, he's not open, right? Because he's still he's still married. Yeah, so, like, Lydia was such a loud, out and proud character. That's true. Yeah. yeah, but I do. I mean, I do but like I, that it shows that she can say like, "I know who I am." No to this, and then make it her uh, on her own terms yes. when she decides like, and then "Oh, that's what I like." I'm yeah. gay. I can have sex with men and still be gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Uh, and he's so pretty. She's like picking is. like just this pretty little waif yeah. like to. At have one point, sex they with. shave his butt, and she's like, "Oh, I like that." Yes, she I remember that. Little clean butt. butt. This little Love clean it. butt. Clean butt. Uh, so they make it to the where the Vakari rock car live Mm -hmm. and uh, there's this bridge and Alfie and Marco are looking over the bridge and this creature's down there and they're like what the fuck is that and before they know it Alfie's being pulled down by this creature Mm. and then there's a really cool action scene I liked this fight sequence a lot and they're able to uh, you know they're trying to fight it off nothing's working and then Ozgi is like you gotta shoot it in its mouth hole she's from Long Island (laughs) (laughs) I'm a Long Island out. Um, and and so, shoot it in its big, mouth hole. Yeah, big, big glass of wine. In her hand. Um, so uh, Marco shoots it, and then uh, the, it was a very big, dangerous creature. So then, when they meet the Vakari later, they're like, yes. "You guys are going to be inducted tonight at our ceremony as warriors. You're still humans. You're not as good and tough as us because yes. they're like a tough people who are known for conquering uh, different lands. They don't like building walls. They just like being able to go wherever they want and take whatever they." want uh and you're gonna like have a party with us tonight is kind of how they're introduced yes. mm-hmm. and then we also meet another character another total hottie <laughs> just when i thought no one could get hotter than Ozgi, we <laughs> meet uh Ag- Aghavni, uh and she was such oh, a babe yes. i wrote the babe of all babes she was gorgeous <laughs> yeah. queen babe queen and fully babe. naked and fully and my I mean, favorite my jaw dropped. I was like, they all just chill out naked, naked all, all day time. long, and they're so fucking hot. This actually makes and then really they all a ton of sense with your kink <laughs> results, Jess. <laughs> I was like, this really is does. my house. Yes. I love it here. This is my house. So, yeah, these, like, Vakari are, like, this is, like, because uh, their, a monster was killed and, like, a new warrior is being anointed with Lydia and Margo, they're just, a, all, it's just like an orgy fuck fest in there. Yes. In the Red Fort. My yeah. My favorite part, my favorite sell so far has been when that like Puritan woman, yes. oh Hana, Hana yeah. is like yelling at Augie, and she's like, uh, even though you wear pants, <laughs> like, yes. So, yes, because no one else of that like they're all wears naked. Pants. Yes, right. so I still hate you even though you wear pants. Even though you wear pants, <laughs> Ozgi left these people because she wasn't feeling like she quite fit in. These we find out they are, uh, they kind of sh- have families, but the families are really like groups of uh, people who are all married to one another. Yeah. And then on this special night that we're there, they get to go outside of those marriages and be with other families, and mm-hmm. so they kind of all. All, there's like somewhat of tribes together, but then they also can all do each yeah, other sometimes Augie too. Yeah, is really monogamous. Yeah, she, find she's out. like, she, I just want to be with one person. And right. then throughout the caravan, we see scenes of her and Alfie. Just, it's so fucking cute. Chatting. They're just like right. hanging out, showing I each other love, big weird bugs. Like Alfie's so interested in her culture. She's That's like in an all new too. culture and is like, tell me everything about that. Like, oh, they really like want to learn about each yeah. other. Yeah, it's love not it. like, oh, you're just so hot. Let's go fuck in the woods. Like they never have sex to at least in until the chapters that I've and read up until this yeah. part <laughs> well it's a slow build and least. they're getting to know each yeah. other in like the best way they're like oh yeah oh they're so cute they're I love so them cute. 
Uh, so the uh, oh, so then with this uh, Havni, uh, we find out that she is kind of into Ozgi, and she's like, "I want you to come back. I want you to be a part of my family." And Ozgi's like, "No, I'm just doing my own thing." They get into like a bit of a fight, and it's very clear there's like jealousy there. Uh, so at this big ceremony where the two humans, Lydia and Marco, are being anointed, uh, last minute Ag- Havni's like, "Oh no, these people stole from us," and we find out she's referring to Ozgi and they're no good go put them in my chambers uh, and so they're put into the chambers they know that they can't fight their way out and they're like well these people are fighting and fucking so let's fuck our way out of this yeah, one we're really good at fighting we're really good Damn. at fucking yeah. and then fuck just your way out of a problem a <laughs> giant orgy begins mm-hmm. and yes. everyone everywhere in this town is this, doing yeah. it this scene was very long <laughs> I yeah. was finishing reading it right before oh this, God, like, this when does the long. sex end? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, there's a certain point where I'm like, ooh, this is hot. And then you're like, you've reached Petite. kind of like the tipping point. You're like, okay. Uh, it is a bit of overkill. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I did like that Marco was like just eating everybody's pussy. Like yeah. just another yes. person would line up and then like just going yes. to town. Well, it was fun to see, I think like... I, what I my theory of Lydia is is that she skews lesbian but would love to like be in a more dominant relationship with a man mm-hmm. because yeah. she like lit up. Uh, he was like, "Hey, if you just play nice and get us through this, you can do anything within reason to me," which is the yeah. absolute like log line of being a dominant. Yeah. Like anything within reason to me, yeah. you can do. And then she was just like, "Thank you so much." Like she yeah. completely changed. Yeah. yeah. So I was just like she oh. gets laughed with a dick. She did get slapped with a dick, yeah. And then I liked the scene too. There was a moment where Marco was with um, someone there who had a penis, and they were like rubbing the penises at the same time. And then he wanted to have sex with Marco. Um, They wanted to have sex with Marco, and uh, Marco was at first like, "No way, no way, I don't do that." Uh, But then ended up like chilling out and trying it out uh, Mm -hmm. because of that, saying like, "Oh, if you do this now, because it's supposed to be like a diplomatic mission or something." So like, well, if you do it I'll let you do whatever later UN's really working hard <laughs> yeah, the UN that's is going in yeah. that's all they do uh, but throughout all this Ozgi and Alfie are kind of away from the whole situation and they're just uh, hanging out Ozgi's like I wish I could just leave here and go with you for the rest of your travels but the type of uh, my people like get killed if they go different places right. so uh and oh, we all, we also forgot. Alduin yes. saw Alfie. Was like, oh, I think I know who you are. Oh, that's your last yeah. name. I know your mom. And Alfie uh, is completely surprised. Like, yes. how would you know? Yeah, my mom? yeah, yeah. She, she knows that they know. did work together. Doesn't right. know that they were yes. working it together. Yeah. And Alduin asked her, asked her to make like uh, a strap on harness. Like, yeah. I know what this is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, not many people know what this is. <laughs> Could you tell what? Like, if you look at, it, you're like, I think I know. I think I can guess. Oh, it's a dick. I guess. This is a struggle, yeah. Uh, And so Alfie at first says no to him about that, but then is like, if Ozgi can come with us and be my bodyguard, then I'll make you as many uh, Mm. strap-ons as you want. My bodyguard. My bodyguard. I need this person close at all times. Yeah. Strong person. I can get you. Oh, no. It did make me think of, yeah, Whitney Houston and Kevin Costner. Mm. (laughs) Good. A classic. A real classic. Uh, And that is where Chapter 10 and leaves yeah. us off. Wow. That was everything. Oh, wait, can I say, like, there's one moment with Lydia that was like uh, uh, interesting to me was that Lydia's not even her name. What's her name? Alduin like is like when when Lydia and Mark like fight the oh, monster. Alduin's yeah. like really impressed, uh, and Alduin's like never really talked to them. She's like, "What's your name?" Like Lyra, Lara, something. And then Lydia goes, "Lydia's fine." That's an yeah. interesting. Person of color moment. Hey, hey, hey. It is. It's Shankar. (laughs) (laughs) It's Rika. Yeah, Yeah. sure. Uh, That's interesting. I didn't even clock that. Yeah. Wow. Cool. So wow. we did take a BD yes. SM test because, especially in this chapter, even more so than the beginning ones, there was a ton of BDSM happening. BDSM. And we were wondering Want me to read the what uh, ours options. Would be? I've got the options oh, all yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this was a, t- a test to determine 
a dominant submissive, sadist masochist, a rope bunny versus a rigger, a master or mistress versus a slave, a degrader versus a degradee, an owner or a pet, a brat or a brat tamer. I like I liked <laughs> that. Uh, a hunter or a prey, a daddy, mommy, boy, girl, age player, exhibitionist, voyeur, experimentalist, non-monogamist, or switch. Interesting. There was a yes. this was a long test. <laughs> uh, I'll share mine first because I told them mine beforehand, <laughs> and then we're gonna guess e- everyone Ooh, else's. Okay. Yeah. Right? We can't yeah. guess mine because I I blew it. But I got ninety four percent non monogamous, eighty nine percent vanilla. <laughs> such a funny combination. That's so funny. Yeah. Just once, the most amount of people in the <laughs> most neutral way possible. Yeah, totally. <laughs> It sounds so I perfect I just want to, to smooch me. a bunch of people. <laughs> I really do think that is perfect, Ruthie. You want your glass of wine and a naked house. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what I want. Oh just God. everyone naked when I come home. Yes. Take off your What shoes. are we watching? We're watching Real Housewives. Then we can do like a blowjob between commercials. Then we'll go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my blanket? <laughs> and then we all go to sleep. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Everyone have a 20-minute orgy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Who's are we doing for? Who are we guessing? Uh, we can do me. Okay. okay. So wait, I have to wait look do you want to? We all give ours to you, and you just guess the top. You tell oh, us the okay, top okay. rated, and we guess oh, okay, who's cool. top. Oh wait, that so was. give me uh, Teos first because okay, we said okay. Teos first. Give me your phone. Okay. okay. So what is Teo? Oh, Teo! What is Teo's number one? Hmm. I can. Can I give you the percentages? I guess seventy-five okay. percent. Okay. Highest one. 90. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, that's just. This, there, there's barely any human left in here. It's all non monogamous. Versus uh, dog. Versus dog. Yeah. Uh, I think it would be funny if it was. Uh, let's see. Voyeur. Voyeur. <laughs> uh, okay. Is it correct? No. Okay. It's in the is top it, five. Voyeur. Is, so that was a good guess. Are you experimentalist? No. Or primal? No. no. Oh, Reka, you don't know Teo. <laughs> oh my God, Teo! I oh, wait, no, Teo. Uh, primal is in the top five. Okay, see, I do know you a little. Okay, rope bunny. I want to say no. Um, <laughs> it's not as low as you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! uh, you little rope bunny. <laughs> Brat tamer. Brat. <gasps> brat Brat's not as low as you think either. Rope bunny and brat are the sa- are close. Fifty nine and fifty six percent. All right, what's the top? The top is dominant. Ah! Yeah! What's number two? What's number two? Ah! Switch. Ah! What is switch? I think it's switching between, right? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. yeah. And then we have uh, rigger, which Ooh, I don't know what fun. that is. That's the ropes person. Oh, okay. so. That's and to the rope bunny. Okay. And, and then I, Voyeur yeah. is 60. <gasps> Ten. Ooh, Ooh, okay. Little hole in the wall. Oh, yes. There it is. Watch out. Watch out for Teo. Little hole in the wall <laughs> place. Teo. I know a little hole in the wall. Where the There is a hole in the wall that I can look through. <laughs> you can okay. in a restaurant? Rick, are you next? Are walking in the restaurant? Yeah. yeah. Hole in the wall restaurant. Oh, oh, I see. Great. Uh-oh. What is Rick? Okay, but I didn't know mine was entirely accurate. And I also realized okay. I answered one of the questions I asked you guys about wrong, which did lead to one of those percentages. Oh, I can't okay. wait. Okay, so you are... 86%. Age 86. player. Age player is on there for sure. Uh, no, that's 3%. Interesting. Very low. You're in the red. God damn it. Um, let's see. <laughs> Mistress. <laughs> what? Wow. That's zero? <laughs> damn it. What if uh, I ended up I don't know you at all. all. <laughs> Primal? Primal? Oh, guys. Primal is in the top five. At 31%, okay, it is the bottom of submissive. the top five. No. Dominant. No. Honey. Uh, degrader. <laughs> <laughs> Experimentalist? Which, what is experimentalist? Experimentalist is 58. I think that you'll just, Ooh. you'll try anything. Oh, try you're up to God. try things. Mm. Exhibitionist. No. Vanilla? What the fuck? Vanilla <laughs> is it? No way! Vanilla is your number one! Because she loves baking. The two, loves the two vanillas. Chocolate number two. The two is vanillas. This, is this podcast a nugget for you two? Uh, 76 was boy girl. Oh, Did it feel totally accurate to me? Because I feel like I like... 
I feel like when I watch porn, I watch way more female porn. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that, and then this is the one that I felt like I answered the wrong thing and then got. Daddy mommy? Oh, I answered the color. You know, question. boy girl doesn't mean boy with girl. It means it's the opposite of daddy mommy. So you like oh. being the young you one be a versus baby. the daddy mommy. Got it. Okay, fair. Yeah. <laughs> that feels okay. Um, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Got it. Uh, great. All right. Allie. Yeah. Get ready, yeah. baby. Okay. Get ready. Ooh, Allie has a lot of green. <laughs> okay, what's More the top green than uh, everyone else? A hundred percent. hundred. hundred percent. The 98, 89, Whoa. 86, 79. Okay, get ready. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go dominant. Ooh, good guess. We're in the, we're not even in the top 10, I don't Whoa. think. Submissive? But it has 56. Submissive? So, uh, no, you are incorrect. Okay. Experimentalist? Let me see. Yes, 67%, but that's still not even the top five. Okay. Whoa. Oh, submissive, I'm sorry, was 64%. So it is in the top 10. Primal. Okay. Primal is in the top five. Matt. Both okay. hunter and prey. What's the <laughs> difference there? I think it's like you want to be hunted or be the prey. I don't mm. know. Daddy, oh, mommy. No, no daddy, mommy. <laughs> Master, mistress? No, no, no. No, <laughs> oh, wow. oh, no, no, no. Oh, Taya, no. no. do you even no, know no, me? No. Actually, no. No. I would say I would say you're actually. Well, that's in, like the top ten, <laughs> but lo- it's no, the lowest. You strike me as heavily. It's monogamous. true. It's absolutely no. true. Switch. <laughs> A switcher. Nintendo Switch. A hundred percent Nintendo Switch. Hundred percent Switch, bitches. Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Nintendo Switch. <laughs> actually, that checks because I yeah. heard you talk about one of the exciting things about being queer relationships is like who's. Oh who's yeah, what? yeah. Like, it's what? always oh, different. Yeah. Well, that explains cool. the hunter prey too. Uh, yeah, I went switch and then hunter and then prey. Yeah, <laughs> I peaked. Uh, there's also. <laughs> Uh, Rigger and Rope, rope Bunny. Bunny. Voyeur Excuse and me. Pet. Excuse Whoa. me. Aww, yay. I'll watch your pet anytime. <laughs> that was so <laughs> cool. I'll watch you watching your yeah. pet. Watch you watching. Uh, should we grade Alfie real quick? Yes. Before rope we... Bunny. Right. Rope, <laughs> rope Bunny. Rope Bunny. One to five. Rope Bunny. Um, I'm going to give it four and a half again. I think I gave it that last time. Yeah. I think uh, that first scene with Melly and Alfie was so hot. Mm-hmm. That was a great scene. It was hot. Oh, hot. we didn't even it talk about the Giants hot. having sex oh, the either. Giants. That was that wild. Was I didn't that was almost. That was like the almost one animal. Eyed Giants. I yeah. didn't need. I clicked through it. Didn't need. I don't really know what happened. Yeah. I. It was just more like whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch it. It was a bit of nature documentary. Yeah. Yes. A kind of. A, It'd be perfect if I was a cyclops because then I could be a voyeur with just my one eye. <laughs> it was Mira uh, and Dress a horrible <laughs> stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> one big eye. You'd have no depth perception. Uh, I um, guess that's pretty important. <laughs> I'm going to give this one a 4.75. Ooh. Whoa. I thought it was so great, Edging especially the beginning five. and the end. Yeah. That one little mishap in the middle stopped it from being pure for perfection. Yeah. Maybe I would knock mine to a four for that. Yeah. Wow. Which part in the middle? Just, Just that, the, like, Lydia scene I think that Lydia's, they kind of bought. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Wow. I'll give it a, I'll give it a five. I mean, <laughs> The, I mean, it's a, it's truly. A, it so looked much beautiful. I mean, it. yeah, that's of anything that we've read, especially that yes. second half. People were right; it really did pick up. It was yeah. awesome. The image Gorgeous. of of uh, Vera's and Derek's wedding. I took a screenshot just because I was like, "This is an amazing looking panel." Or just yeah. by the bonfire, even in the yes. black and white, like to have the light shown off mm-hmm. things. It's just beautifully made. I liked the tat when someone tattooed Lydia's boob. And you could oh, I liked that hand. too. Yeah. And I like yeah. when. Lydia came, it was like red energy like shot yeah. out of her. I liked all the wetness. Yeah. yeah. Like how it was shown like moved around. But the one thing I was like, no one's nose is wet. This person clearly yeah. has oh. never oh, eaten makeup pussy in their got life. Yeah, exactly. Up, which I did I like. Ha- the I have a, a bit of translucent powder on my nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I didn't laughs> do, do, do. Oh, excuse me. Uh, what about you, Allie? Five. Five. Five, oh, five. five. five over here, honey. Great. Cool. I thought it was great. Cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, oh, the book for next week. Our next week's assignment is Backstage Pleasures, First Tour, Fresh Desires <laughs> by Tanya Colt. You can find that on Amazon. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Have a sexy oh, yeah. week, everybody. Hi, it's Reka. If you like college humor and want to support us, sign up for Dropout. 
for the monthly cost of 250 candy bars in the year 1920. You can get videos like this a whole week sooner. You can chat with us live on the Dropout Discord and get exclusive content like the Vodcast Erotic Book Club. There is a lot of blanket play. It's a lot of blankets, a lot of, oh, I got you a what? gift. Oh, let me tuck you in the bed. And I'm, I'm like, tuck. oh, God, yes. <laughs> so sign up for your free trial today. And it was so great meeting you. If you want to, like, share some of those candy bars over wine sometime, you know, like, I am available, you know. You get, like, 125, I can get 125. I don't know, it's just an idea.